There are seven steps for you to start making money on Amazon by selling your own products. And Amazon is the best way to make money online, especially because there are over 148 million Prime members. That means that's a lot of people purchasing from Amazon on a daily basis. Plus, two thirds of all sales made on Amazon come from third party sellers like you and me. So that means that by selling your product on Amazon, customers are going to love it and are purchasing very often from Amazon. In fact, just last year alone, over 200,000 people selling on Amazon made over $100,000 in sales. When a customer comes to the Amazon website to purchase your product, for example, on the back end, Amazon fulfills this product by packing and shipping this product to the customer without any interference from you. This means you don't have to handle any of the orders that are made through Amazon. Amazon is going to take care of everything for you by being an Amazon FBA seller. That means that all you have to do is create a product, open up an Amazon account, and start selling your product today. There is a lot of hard work upfront needed in order to make sure your business is a success. And I'll share in just a minute how exactly to get everything started and what to look out for when starting your own business. But once it's up and running, you're gonna be able to create an Amazon business that runs itself, meaning that you can live anywhere you want, work from wherever you want, knowing that this business is running smoothly on Amazon, completely online. So let's dive into the steps for starting an Amazon FBA product. The first thing you'll wanna do is sign up for an Amazon seller account. You'll wanna go to sell.amazon.com to create an account. It's a free option. All you have to do is sign up for a seller account, enter all of your personal information that it asks for, and you'll be able to start listing a product. Now there is a option to sell on Amazon for free. However, this isn't the Amazon FBA account, meaning FBA is going to be fulfilled by Amazon. This is where they're gonna take care of all that picking and packing for your product, especially with any orders coming through. But if you choose the other option, the FBM option, there is a cost associated with each product you sell, but you won't have to pay a $39.99 a month fee. I personally recommend going with the $39.99 per month fee because you'll be able to do FBA. Your product will be prime eligible, which is more likely to be able to be sold to customers. They like knowing that there's prime shipping. And of course, Amazon FBA takes care of everything for you whenever you get an order coming through. But if you want to just kind of play around with the site and figure out what you want to do, you can always start with FBM and then switch over to FBA. FBA later whenever you feel comfortable. Step two is finding a product. I've done a few videos on this specifically on how to find a product. I'll link it for you guys up above, but I do recommend maybe starting to brainstorm what it is that you are passionate about, maybe some things that people are talking about, and maybe see if people can find this product online. And if they can't, then that's definitely an opportunity for you to create something and sell it. There's also some tools you can find online and some companies that can help you brainstorm to find a product that can sell well on Amazon. A company I recommend is Helium 10, and I use them to check out the the competitors in my space for my product Vino cards. I have a discount down below for you guys for Helium 10. If you want to check it out and try it out, you can get a discount for your first month. And this is especially helpful if you want to just, again, play around with the site and figure out or start brainstorming some ideas using the tools on Helium 10 can kickstart those ideas and have them flowing so that you can decide what you want. Step three is to create a brand. By creating a brand, you'll have more access on your Amazon listing page to add description or images or anything else that relates to your product, but this is only if your product is branded. Now there's a few things that you can do to create a brand for your product. You can even trademark your product, which is what I did with Vino cards. I was able to enter that information onto Amazon and they recognized it as a good brand and I was able to access all those new features. But of course, before you dive into that, you'll want to have a product. Now before all of that, you might want to even hire a designer or someone that can help you with branding. Now you can use social media media to help create a brand and make it more powerful, have a lot of following for a good success of your product, but you want to make sure that you have some of these main bullet points for your brand. So you'll want to have a logo, a name, some color pattern, and just some good information about what your product can do to help customers. Now there's a few different companies that you can use to help create a brand. There's 99designs, 
Fiverr, and Upwork. All of these I've dabbled with and learned a lot about. They're all really great options, but they do to provide different things for each site. So you want to maybe play around with that as well and see which one works best for you. For Fiverr, it's usually about $5 to $300, depending on how much of the design you need and how big your product is. There's Upwork where you can also request people, maybe freelancers, and usually that cost is around $50 to $500. I mean, it's a huge range, but there's a lot of different options and people that you can reach out to and they can all offer different expertise. With 99designs, it's about $299 to $800. So again, a really big range, but it all depends how many different designs you want. If you want to have a lot of options, usually 99designs is a really fun way for people to get creative and collaborate together. And then you'll at the end choose a winner. 99designs is especially good for a logo. Again, you can kind of share what ideas you have for a logo and people can bring it to life. Any of these sites are super helpful for creating a brand and you want to make sure that you really spend some time on this part because this is the face of your product and this is what people are going to remember it by. So once you have a product and a brand, the next step that you want to make is to find a manufacturer. Finding a manufacturer is not as hard as it may seem. You can simply Google manufacturers in your area if you want to stay local or you can even Google manufacturers abroad. There's also a site called Alibaba.com that can help you find a manufacturer and there's a lot of information on there so that you feel comfortable with choosing the right one. You can also contact them and there's all that information on the site. So I'll link a couple of videos that I did about this to really go in depth on how to find a manufacturer. I'll link it up here for you guys. But the main thing here is just to simply start Googling everything. And I know that that sounds a little silly, but really Google is so helpful and it's how most people find manufacturers. This is how I learned to find a manufacturer. I've heard from a lot of people that they simply just Googled and started calling around. So just start with that. So once you have a product and you have a manufacturer that can create the product for you, the next thing you'll need to focus on is shipping. The two main options for shipping can be sea shipping and air shipping. For sea shipping, this is very helpful if you are creating a product abroad. And usually sea shipping is a lot longer of a process. So you'll want to make sure that you are creating everything and getting things started months in advance. And to give yourself about one to two months for that shipping time, a lot of things can happen at a port. Shipping can take a lot longer than you expect. So you want to make sure to give yourself that buffer. In contrast, air shipping can be a lot quicker. Of course, it's traveling by airplane. And so you can receive product a lot quicker. However, because it's a lot faster, it's a lot more expensive. Sea shipping, you can really ship everything in bulk. And because there's a ton of different containers on one ship, it can lower your cost. But if you are on a time crunch, air shipping is really useful. I had to do that for my Kickstarter back in 2018 for my product Vino cards. I really did not have enough time from when I wanted to launch my product on Amazon and to fulfill the orders from the Kickstarter. So I needed to send some of my product by air shipping and it was very expensive. I did the rest of my orders through city shipping and the price was incredibly cheaper. And this is what I do more often now is everything's by sea shipping because I've given myself that buffer. So make sure to do the same for yourself. Step six is to create a listing. And this is specifically on Amazon. Since you'll already have your seller account by this point, you can simply go to the section up above where it says inventory and create a new listing. This is the area that you wanna optimize the most. So this is the most important aspect of your Amazon page. This is where everyone's going to see your reviews, your description, your images, and all of the information about the product that a customer should know before buying. I can give an example of my product Vino cards on Amazon and how it looks. I've really added a ton of information for the customer, of course included the price, and I'm really trying to get those reviews up. All of this is very essential for the customer and to make them feel confident with buying your product. This is where I believe you should spend the most time at because this is again the main thing that customers are going to see and you want to make sure that you're guiding them through the process of what this product will entail, how they can use it at home, and why they need it. So make sure that you include everything on there. You can view competitors or what other people are doing on their Amazon listing and you can also use Helium 10 again to use some tools to optimize your Amazon listing. 
So really, I recommend using Helium 10 if you're newer in the space. I'll link again the code to save some money on your first few months on Helium 10 down below. So click that so that you can kind of again play around with it and see what you can do. And step number seven for this process of launching your Amazon business is to, of course, just launch your product. I talk in detail on how to get customers to your Amazon listing the moment that you make your product live on Amazon. So I'll link a video up above so that you guys can check it out. But the main thing I'm going to share is the importance of letting people know that your Amazon product is available. And you can do this through social media, tell friends and family, ask them if they can share your listing because the moment that you launch your Amazon business, you want people to come to that listing as soon as possible. Amazon will recognize that and they'll push your product up above on the search bar. And this is what you want. You also want to get a lot of reviews from the start. This is again, very important because Amazon's going to recognize that they're going to know all this traffic coming onto your Amazon product and they're going to love it. They're going to push your product. It's going to become more available and more visible to customers who shop on Amazon. And really that's it. It's seven steps, a lot of information for each step, but all essential to help you have success with your Amazon business from day one. The main thing that I want to share with you guys here is that I was able to start my product with zero dollars and you can absolutely do the same. I created a detailed video on how exactly to do this. So click the video here to check it out and I'll catch you in that one.